Hey guys, welcome back to the Obi Thorn Alliance. What are we doing today, Jacob? We are doing, so what have you been watching for first time for this year? So we're going to give you an update on all the things we've been watching starting 2023 and ending in at the end of 2022. So stick around and see what we've been up to. So, you watch much over the Christmas and New Year break, Jacob? Yes, been watching Wednesday, Jack Ryan Season 3. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of interesting things. So what's the, the best thing you've watched in the last month or so? Oh, the best thing? Um, probably Jack Ryan Season 3 or The Last of Us, probably. Okay, so The Last of Us we're both currently watching and we're one episode's out. Well, two's now, as of right now, but only just came out. So we've seen the first episode. You liking it so far? Yeah, I thought it was a great slow start. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And Jack Ryan, tell us a little bit about that if anyone hasn't seen it already. Well, Jack Ryan is basically a CIA analyst that in, that discovers some profile about the terrorist operation and then he becomes more entangled with it and then he becomes a spy and he does action things. So, have you finished the third season? You're yes. Interested? And where's it right in comparison to the other seasons? Is it getting the show still staying good? You liking it? Yeah, it's very good. More seasons to come? Just one more, and then they're going to do a spin-off show with a different act and premise. Hmm. So what do you think about Wednesday? Wednesday's obviously been really big on Netflix and all around the world. People have been talking about it. I haven't seen it yet. Did you like it? Uh, I enjoyed it as a murder mystery but as a Adam's Family show, it was okay. But I think as a murder mystery, it was good. Do you think you'll have a, another season? Yes, it, it's already been confirmed, yeah. Okay, great. And did it end in a satisfying way for the first season or were we left on a cliffhanger? Uh, the main case ended, but it ended with more story to be told. So is that the premise of it? You think it will continue to focus on murders and trying to solve them? I guess so. I don't know that much about the Adams Family, so... Yeah, it seems interesting. As I said, as well, I don't know heaps about the Adams Family, but I didn't know it had any... Wednesday was a detective. It seems a bit odd. Mm. Any movies you've seen recently? I've uh, been watching... Just went to the movies and watched Operation Fortune with Jason Statham and who who Grant. Yeah, what do you think of that? It was it was a good action comedy movie, but I out of all the movies it it was okay. Mm. I believe you saw Puss in Boots as well? Yes. How was that for a kids animated movie? I thought it was amazing actually. It it dove in deep into emotions and surprisingly it was a really good movie. Okay. I, I do think that, you know, um cartoons tend to be appealing to adults now. I think they've found that right formula that kids and adults can both watch it. And yeah, you know, sometimes I think the adults like it more. So interesting. And we both saw Avatar since we last did one of these. Yes. So if you want to find out what we thought about that, there's an in-depth review. But uh, summarize it quickly with your thoughts on Avatar. Very visually appealing. If you like to look at amazing spectacle, you'll enjoy it. Plot, not so much. And besides that, yeah. Yeah, I very much thought the same about Avatar. Visually pretty, but lacked plot or reason for plot. Mm. So I really felt like it was a backwards way of making things, trying to focus on the visuals instead of actually producing a good story. So I found Avatar quite disappointing. Anything else you've seen recently? Just got into a show with Guy Pearce called Jack Irish that apparently had two or three movies and the show is on Netflix. So yeah, really enjoying it. Yeah, I hadn't heard about this before. So what's the premise of this show? He is a lawyer slash um, private investigator and he's investigating um, murders, um, trying to prove himself innocent because the police think he has killed someone. 
Okay. For season one, yeah. Is that it? Or is there something else yet you've seen? Uh, I've watched uh, a couple of anime and, yeah. Okay. Well, what have I been watching since the last video? So I saw Avatar, as mentioned. Uh, started The Last of Us. I've started watching... Only Murders in the I Building. I've started watching Only Murders in the Building, so I'm like halfway through season one, and I think it's it's okay. I think it, it's solid. I haven't, you know, given it that much attention because I've been watching it kind of scattered, so I probably, if I watched it, you know, regularly, like every night for a week or so, maybe it would have a bit of a different feel because I'm kind of going to remember each time what happened in the last episode. I started watching Welcome to Wrexham, which is a documentary on Disney Plus about uh, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McLehenney buying a sporting team. So I saw the first episode, I thought it was quite interesting, and then was shocked to find out there's 18 episodes to season one, so it kind of changes whether I want to invest that much time into this, but it seemed quite good. I've watched... Black Snow, which is an Australian show on Stan, a Stan original. Really surprised how good it was, you know, a murder mystery, um, short summary. There's a, the main character is a cold case detective. Uh, he gets asked to go out to reopen a cold case because new evidence has came to light and follows him trying to solve this cold case murder in a, um, a country town in Queensland, uh, but he also has his own kind of cold case to do with the disappearance of his brother when he was little and he's never been able to find his brother. So I think it will be a, a uh, an anthology series and hopefully next season we'll see him investigate another cold case, but, you know, chipping away at what's happening with his brother. So I would like to see it get a second season. If it doesn't, as a one-off, it was fine, but they built this really good backstory that you know it has a lot of legs in it with him and finding his brother so I'd be disappointed not to see what happens there uh, what else I've been watching I watched meet cute which is a peacock original on Amazon Prime it was very interesting um, I do there is a review you can find on our channel about it where we have basically it's to do with, it's a love story in to do with time travel so we've got Pete Davison and Hayley Curico, and she is trying to relive a date, basically. So she's found a way of going back in time and trying to relive this first date because it's perfect in her eyes. And, you know, I'm not going to give it all away, but it's an interesting mix of time travel, comedy, and, you know, like a love story, but the love story's not, you know, as lovey-dovey as you might think. So that's quite a good movie. I don't know if I've started any other shows or if there's any other movies I've seen recently. That's probably the best of the bunch so far. What's been the best thing you've enjoyed out of Bunnings? I think Black Snow. I, I must, More than The Last of Us? Well, no, I think The Last of Us is potentially going to be better, but we've seen <laughs> one episode. That's true. So out of the things that I've finished and like really got to see a lot of content of, Black Snow has been the most, my most impressed show that I've finished recently. Mm. And, um, yeah, so that, that's been the best thing I've seen so far. My most anticipated thing I'm looking forward to the most is uh, currently The Last of Us. Uh, oh, actually, I did. I watched a few episodes of The New Girl also on Disney+, Plus and I laughed a little bit. It's not the greatest of comedy. I think, it, I think it's popular, but I, I think it's maybe, you know, it's, it's not dark or you know gritty enough like you, you know i'm really into shows like always sunny in philadelphia now watching shows that kind of have that same formula within a sitcom they don't really compare so um i think i've kind of ruined myself there by finding a show i like so much and trying to compare everything else to it but the new girl's interesting ish but i i think i'd, I'd rather re-watch re something that i really like than you know pursue with this show any shows that you're looking forward to it's coming out soon. Um, oh, there he is. I can't remember. Well, can you jog my memory what's coming out in the near future? I know there's a show with Jason Segel and Harrison Ford that I'm looking forward to. Oh, yes, that's on Apple TV, is it? Yeah. Yeah, so that and a 
feel like there's another one that's coming out soon, or maybe I'm just thinking of The Last of Us that I was looking forward to that for so long. But in terms of movies, I'm looking forward to. So I recently jogged my memory. I rewatched uh, the Scream. I think it might be Scream Four or Five, or I don't know the most recent one. And I rewatched it again, and I like the Scream franchise. They're dumb and it doesn't really add up, and it's kind of silly, but I like it. Uh, but there's a trailer out for a new one that's coming out soon, so I might have to watch that and react to that trailer. So looking forward to another Scream movie. Mm. Yourself, you looking forward to anything? Obviously, Ant Man and the Wasp: Cult Mania. Mm. Any other not so big blockbuster movies coming out soon that you want to watch? Um, hmm, not blockbusters. Um, you got any shows that have got a new season coming out soon? Um, Truth be told, season three. Oh, when's that coming out? Oh, uh, this month at some point. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Um, does, uh, what's that Apple TV show you really like that's got, um, Adam Scott in it? Oh, Seven. Seven. Is there a new season of that coming soon? It doesn't say, no. Oh, disappointing. Okay, well, that's all I've seen. Anything on Adam? Um, I guess we have, um, have you been playing any games? Yes, actually. I've been playing the PlayStation a little bit. I've been playing uh, Gotham Knights. Um, not bad. It's not as good as the other Batman games, but it's good enough. been playing a bit of 2K PGA 23 with the another golf game coming out in the new year. I think it might be within a month time or two months time coming out. This is an EA Sports one, the first one in like 10 plus years, so... Pretty pumped for that. Yourself, been playing anything new or got anything coming out? Well, because um, I got the PlayStation, basically the equivalent to the Xbox um, Game Pass, I just finished the first Uncharted and have started the second Uncharted. And the first Uncharted, it's okay. The It's very, if I must say, very um, old and you can tell it came out in 2007 but what keeps it worth playing are the characters you can tell that the characters are really strong with the series and uh, and the gameplay I would assume gets better over time but the first Uncharted I felt like there were moments when the gameplay with the shooting just went for too long and then uh, sometimes for the platforming, you know, they didn't juggle the platforming gameplay long enough. But hopefully the second one gets better. And then I, from what um, I've heard on YouTube and from Luke, the fourth one is just the best one. So I guess looking forward to some more Uncharted and eventually playing The Last of Us. But I want to watch the show first. Yeah, I agree The the Uncharted games were great, and when they came out, they were like ahead of their time. They were awesome. Now they seem a bit outdated, ignoring the latest one. And I think The Last of Us is kind of the same, but they've remastered the original one and then remade it for PS5. So if you're lucky enough to get to play that version, I think you're probably going to enjoy it a lot more than the remastered original version because they remade this one from scratch with all the new kind of engines and game dynamics and mechanics. So obviously awesome games but you know things get outdated you know the the original mario kart's a classic but if you play it now it seems a bit you know outdated but doesn't take away from how good it was when it came out so you know that's just what happens with games mm. well thank you for watching comment down below what shows you've been watching lately as always you are awesome and see you next time <laughs>